Hi, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to such a very special day for us here at St Bede's because yes, it is the feast day of St Bede. It is the day when we celebrate the marvellous man himself and as you've probably just seen on the video, he is a very special man to celebrate. So today we're going to have a little look at who he was, what he did and as we begin all of that we are joining together as our huge Leeds community today and to do that we begin by reminding ourselves that Jesus is front and centre by making the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And of course, St. Bede was a man who was inspired by the scripture. He was inspired by the writings of the people that came before him. And I imagine one of the writings that inspired him would have been this one. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. All things are done according to God's plan and decision. And God chose us to be his people in union with Christ because of his own purpose based on what he had decided from the very beginning. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so you know, we're really thinking about what do we actually know about St Bede? Well hopefully a little bit more now you watch that video but you know, of his early life we know very little we know that he went to St Peter's around the age of seven and we do hear of his death many, many years later from another very famous um, northern saint, Cuthbert, who it's believed he taught and inspired as he still does today through his writing and work. And, and you all had some questions for St Bede and we did our best. I am not entirely sure these will be the answers that you are expecting. But here we go, ladies and gents. Let's hear from the man. Well, hello everybody at St Bede's. It's my now annual visit on my feast day to you here in sunny Scunny. I believe that you've been working really hard sending in some questions for me to answer. Uh, so, let's get going. What was the greatest thing you witnessed? Hmm, the greatest thing I've ever witnessed? Well, I think probably was one time when I saw um, some very kind young people offering a homeless person um, a Greg sausage roll, would you believe, actually? Showing their generosity and their love and their kindness. Although, actually, I think it might be the lizard lick towing. Hmm. Yes, that is definitely it on YouTube. That's definitely it. Hi, St. Bede. Hope you're well. What's the worst sin you've committed and what's the best thing you've done for a person? Hmm. The worst sin and the best thing. Well, the best thing you can be done for somebody is guiding someone to be the best version of themselves, I think. Now, I have a quote which is about approaching every day as a beginner and that's how the world would guide people. The worst sin What's the worst sin I've ever committed? It must be playing a trick on a boy who was trying to trick Bede, actually, trying to trick me. The story goes that I made the rocks around him speak, which of course changed the actions and the attitudes of the boy for the better. Saint Bede, who is your favourite saint apart from yourself? <laughs> also favourite chocolate. My favourite saint apart from myself? I think St George. I think St George, not just because he's the patron saint of our country, but because he stood up to the emperor when Christians were being persecuted. And he slayed a dragon, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I quite like that. I wish I could have slayed a dragon, actually. My favourite chocolate. My favourite chocolate is a double-decker. Oh yes, those layers of crispy, of chocolate, of nougat on the top. Mm, yes. Give me a double decker. I love them. Who is your favourite celebrity? 
Well, I've got two favourite celebrities. Um, the first, obviously, is Pope Francis. Um, he is my absolute favourite celebrity. What a wise man he is. Um, although, I must say, I do enjoy listening to a little bit of Lady Gaga. Actually, in, in fact, my favourite song is, is Poker Face. Uh, I quite like p -p 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 Poker Face. P -p 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 Poker Face. P -p Poker Face. When you prayed, did you feel closer to God? What is your favourite Chris flavor? What are your thoughts on tattoos? Do you feel burdens to pray for your enemies? Do you comb your beard? How many people did he teach? Now, my next set of questions are all from 8 Newman. Mm. I remember Cardinal Newman. Good chap. So, 8 Newman say, when you pray, do you feel closer to God? Yes, absolutely and always. Next one, do you feel burdened to pray for your enemies? No, never. People need a chance to change and to reform and to make themselves better. We've got to remember what Jesus taught about loving our enemies and praying for those who persecute us. Do I comb my beard? No, unfortunately I don't. It's, it's dreadfully itchy at the moment, um, but I'm not really a very high maintenance kind of person. Um, I've heard actually that Mr. Toyne spends 25 minutes a day uh, on his beard uh, to make sure it looks absolutely perfect as always. Um, what is your favourite crisp flavour? Controversially, cheese and onion. Some people love it, some people hate it. I happen to be on the loving it side. And how many people do I teach? Hmm, what a good question. I'm not actually sure, but over the years, over the many thousands of years, I'm hoping that my writing has reached many, many thousands of people and still does today. St. Bede's, what's your funniest joke? Hmm, my funniest joke? Um, I'm very good at jokes, actually. Um, I only know two, uh, but I'll give them to you now. Uh, the first one is uh, the one about the chicken and the road. Uh, so, here we go, here we go. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? Alright, so why did the chicken cross the road? Well, obviously, to get to the other side. <laughs> And then the second one, this is, this is, this is a good one, this is a good one. Right, so what do you call a green object in a lift? A St. Bede student going up and down. St. Ah! Bede, are you proud to be a saint? Yes, I'm very proud to be St. Bede because it means I get to share all of my thoughts with people like you who live out my mission of love respect and service. I often say the ultimate truth is love and if I can think and take all of that away from today, this idea that love will always bring goodness, love will always win, even in the darkest of times, love is always the right thing to do, then actually we'll be setting a pretty good example to everybody else. And then just a quick final thought for you ladies and gents, I, in your reading today, you heard a bit of writing from St. Paul to the Ephesians. In it, we hear that God chooses different people for different purposes, so we all learn to serve our community and it becomes stronger. Today, on the feast day of St. Bede, that's me, I ask you to think for a minute about your purpose. What do you think you've been chosen for? Are you living out your purpose and do you, every, do you do everything in love? If you are, brilliant. If not, remember what I always say, you start every day as the beginner and then just go for it. Find your purpose and be proud of yourself. And as I often find myself saying too, unfurl your sails and let God steer you where he will. May God bless you all. Until we meet again this time next year, I am sure. Goodbye. Well, who knew? A fan of a boost bar, a packet of cheese and onion crisps, and a penchant for a Lady Gaga. And, you know, whilst we may never share those things with St. Peter, though I do love cheese and onion crisps, actually, we share a lot. Our mission statement of love, respect, and service are the exact same values 
that St Bede lived his life by. You know, here he is on the screen right next to me. And, you know, there is no greater role model for us in our day-to-day -day life, except perhaps Jesus and, you know, maybe Pope Francis. But St Bede is a pretty fine figure, although you might want to uh, get a few better jokes than him. And actually, to end today, as we think about St Bede, I challenge you in your tutor groups this, you know, for the rest of this week to have a look at what he did, how that can inspire you, and to reflect on the words of this prayer written by the man himself. Almighty God, open thou my heart and enlighten me with the grace of the Holy Spirit to see things which are pleasing to thy will. Direct my thoughts and understanding. Direct my acts to thy commandment that I might study to bring them to fulfilment. Amen. And on the Feast of St Bede, we join together to say our mission statement. We commit ourselves to love, respect and serve one another as disciples of Jesus Christ. St Bede, pray for us in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So you know all that's left to say is, as St Bede would say, unfurl those, those sails, treat each day as a beginner and let's see where that gets us. Happy Feast of St Bede everyone, have a great one. <laughs>